Hello everyone and welcome back to the August Chronicles where we discuss everything from pregnancy, parenting, lifestyle, and everything in between. If this is your first time here, welcome. Feel welcome and subscribe. Welcome and subscribe. <laughs> down below. Click the link down below and subscribe because you're going to come back. You're going to come back. And there's a lot to see. Mm -hmm. So catch up on all the videos and then come back. But first, Subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Yep. As you all know, if this is not your first time here, Mr. August is here. He has made his grand entrance as of October 28th. Which is why there are just like random pacifiers and baby <laughs> things around the house now. Yes. And he is right in the next room. His sister is currently burping him. <laughs> Um, so if you hear some pats, that's what it is. <laughs> so I figured I'd bring Sean on to talk about our birth um, experience, our labor journey, the ups, the downs. It was a long but very short it labor was, experience. It was a, like it quick was, and intense, I think is, yeah, is so probably the... From start to finish, it was about um, 18 hours, but the act, like active labor was like, I feel like 12 it was seconds. like five, <laughs> five minutes. Um, so let's get started. Oh, but first, babe, I made you some lunch. Okay. Shout out to the quarantine lunch. We have a gourmet... Um, frozen pizza, frozen individual pizza. <laughs> and I balance that. I, there's always balance. The salad's gourmet. The, the salad, salad is gourmet. I don't know if I would call the salad gourmet, but, but you're going to call the, the This is the, a fall <laughs> The freezer pizza is gourmet, but the salad is not. This is a fall salad technically because there's a pe there's pear in it. So, it is romaine, cucumbers, red bell pepper, um, I roasted some chickpeas, salt, pepper, um, avocado oil. I sliced a pear and I made a honey mustard dressing. So honey, Dijon mustard, little bit of mayo, a splash of, splash of orange juice, salt and pepper. That's it. And um, everyone had a salad today because we historically throughout quarantine, and my pregnancy, we drink a lot of green juice, but we haven't been making green juice as um, as much as we used to. So I had to make sure that everyone got a salad in them today. Um, so that is, oh, and there's, Sean also has some leftover salmon from last night's dinner. This is a well-rounded lunch right here, okay? That's all I'm saying. And because, August is freshly fed. Cheers. Okay, I have three hours to kill. So here we are. All right, so our labor experience. I'll let you kind of share and then I will interject. Okay, so on. Uh, overall, I would say, how do you feel? Let's start like overall, uh -huh. how do you feel like it went? And then we can dive into details i think overall it went great um there weren't any complications that we were made aware of in the moment that caused us any undue stress we'll get to some complications that were experienced mm -hmm. um but in the moment the the staff uh at brimmore hospital did a really great job of kind of keeping us calm so I'd say it went pretty smooth and Shelly alluded to active labor being relatively short. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't, you weren't in it, it, you know, a lot of pain for a very long period of time or discomfort for a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. um, so that was good. Um, so yeah, I would say overall, you know, the labor experience, if I had to give it a score of one to 10, I'd give it a eight and a half. I thought it went I thought it went really well. Um, so uh, August was born on October the 28th. Mm -hmm. And so around 1130 on uh, the 27th, uh, Shelly's water broke. Interestingly enough, she was editing a video for you. 
She was editing a video for you when her water broke. No, my water broke as soon as I hit submit. Oh, on to post the YouTube, to post the YouTube video. Literally, well, I'll say this. I click submit on YouTube and then I, I stood up because I was done, right? And then I was like. Oh. My water broke. Oh. Yeah. So she, yeah. Sorry. Hate that word. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, she came upstairs to the bedroom and said, you know, my water broke. And uh, I said, I think my water broke. So she checked and her water broke. I was broke. like, okay, yes. And so uh, she called the hospital and, uh, you know, there, at that point there weren't any contractions or pain and um, mm -hmm. the, the discharge was normal. Uh, and so the doctor said, you know, if you can get some sleep, uh, rest through the night and uh, we'll see you in the morning. And so we were able to get some sleep. So that was around 11 p.m. Yeah. On the 27th. Yep. And so. So essentially, uh, technically the clock started. Yeah. When my water broke. So, so water broke on the 27th. Mm -hmm. uh, after being up and being excited and kind of planning for the girls, uh, since the girls were going to be at home while we were in the hospital, uh, we were finally able to Talking get. Talking to friends. Yeah, a couple of friends, a couple of family members. Um, we were able to get some sleep. And I'd say about seven, seven thirty the next morning, the doctor called to check in. Um, nothing happened overnight that would have caused any concern, but at that point, you know, they said, "All right, come on in." And so we got to the hospital around ten ish. Uh, pretty smooth check in. Labor uh, room was was really nice. You probably saw a video of that on a, a previous. Uh, vlog post from from Shelly and so we really just killed time um Shelly did you take any work emails while you were oh, while you yeah, were waiting sure. of course Shelly worked literally until August was in the world um so she took a couple work emails I took some work calls and some work emails on the way um no, I wasn't in pain I yeah. was I was not experiencing any pain Mm -hmm. up until two hours before I pushed him out. Right. And so, and that was as a result of, um, they gave Shelly a, a, a stimulant for contractions. Uh, to bring contractions. She, she wasn't really experiencing any pain and, you know, was dilating, but very slowly. Mm -hmm. And so they gave Shelly an oral uh, stimulant to get the, the contractions in motion. And I would say within 15, 10, 15 minutes, you started feeling uh, more significant contractions. And uh, that's when the fun began. <laughs> and so the contractions, you know, normal. Well, so they gave me, they don't give you an entire pill. Mm -hmm. They gave me a quarter of a pill. And I think it's Pitocin, if I'm not mistaken, um, to start contractions so my body is like oh okay that's we're going into labor oh you want to push this baby out okay great so they started with a quarter of a pill just to kind of the lead up right so i'm not like full throttle in intense pain and they were going to give me a quarter of a pill every two hours because at that point they were like this baby's not coming anytime soon so we're going to slowly get you there. That was the plan, to slowly get me there, um, not fast track, you know, let my body do its thing, but just help it along just a bit. I would say within 20 minutes of taking that quarter of a pill, that's when mild contractions started. And within an hour that's when they became like all right this is definitely happening um how much longer am i am i am i going to be able to deal with this pain for the duration that's that's when it started getting intense and then about a half an hour after that is when i was like oh my goodness <laughs> If this is how it's gonna be for the next six to eight hours, there is no way that I can tolerate it because one, 
We got to the hospital again at 10 a.m. They finally gave me that pill around three. Um, and so I could not eat. I had a half a bagel on our way to the hospital. Um, and I had Wawa. I tried to get her something from Wawa and you said you didn't yeah, want it. I didn't because <laughs> I wasn't sure. So I had a half a bagel. So by three, I was starving and so my energy was low. And so they said, I wasn't going anytime soon. And so I had already in my mind got, I, I had already prepared to go for the long haul, but going for the long haul with no medication, I needed a nap. Like if I was gonna do it, I needed a nap. They also so. didn't have a lot of the medications for labor that you can take at different stages of of your labor right it was really yeah. just the they had a epidural or pretty much nothing like they did an they, iv drug an iv so like they didn't really have well and by that by the time i inquired about an iv drug um i was six centimeters dilated and it was too late so it was either get an epidural or thug it out and just see when the baby comes. And get an epidural quickly. She was approaching the point where they wouldn't give you one. Well, not they wouldn't, but I couldn't sit still long enough for them to give it to me because the, the contractions were so intense. And so they were like, you're not going to be able to sit through <laughs> um, getting an epidural with as in how intense your contractions are. And so they were like, you either get it now or that that's it for you. And so in my mind, I was like, I could deal with this pain, but I'm not gonna be able to do this pain with this fatigue um, as much as, as, as tired as I was getting without any help. So I decided that it was time to get the epidural. Mm -hmm. And so again, this was about 3.30, mm -hmm. right? No, this was about, this was about 4.15 yeah, It was. I would say it was after four. Cause right? August was born at 5.01. 5.01, mm -hmm. so 4.15. So they give me the epidural. Mm -hmm. what, what were your thoughts about that process? Um, so we had done the labor classes, so from a, process standpoint I knew what was going to happen with the epidural um, being in the room while it was happening was uncomfortable because I couldn't move right I had to go to the opposite side of the room and stay parked in a chair so I couldn't even really see what was happening um, I could see that Shelly was in pain and a lot of that pain was due to her having a contraction while they were giving her the epidural and having to stay still, right? And so um, I couldn't really see, excuse me, the side of her, I couldn't see her back and see everything happening. I just kind of saw her from the front. And again, the pain that she was experiencing was due to the contraction. Um, and they, they needed to, kind of attempt to do it a couple times, right? Um, yeah. Which, I don't know if you could feel that. Yes. Okay, so they yes. did give you a local <laughs> anesthetic for the needle, but they had to kind of they place like it a couple times. They were like the needle, you know, around my spine, and I felt all of that. Um, and it was, it was horrible. Like it was, it wasn't a pleasant experience at all. But she was taking her time to do it right, to mm -hmm. not, permanently paralyzed me, right? <laughs> so I get it, but it was not a fun experience at all. Yeah. So that happened. And um, within the next couple of minutes, the epidural was working. Um, and so the doctor came in and, you know, they have a million monitors in the room. Um, at this point, we're monitoring the baby and we could hear the heartbeat and all that sort of stuff but you can also see the contractions on one of the monitors. And so I remember the doctor asking, oh, that was a, a pretty big one. Did you feel that? And 
Shelly says, no. Mm -hmm. So the, the drugs, shout out the drugs, <laughs> medical drugs <laughs> for delivering babies, not the other <laughs> drugs. Um, so at that point, you know, the medication was working. Um, but, and she, and she, she still wasn't fully dilated. So they had checked and she still wasn't fully dilated. And, you know, they were still saying it could be some time. Um, but in the, the midst of that, uh, they noticed that during the contractions, August's heartbeat would drop. And so they didn't tell us this immediately. At this point, it was like 4.45. Yeah, it was 4.45, like 4.30, 4.45-ish. They didn't tell us what was happening, but they saw something on the monitor and there was a carousel of nurses and doctors that were in so and out. what happened was yeah. the nurse said... Everything is fine. I'm just going to bring in a couple more people just to double check. Mm -hmm. um, so don't be alarmed is what she said. Yeah, don't be alarmed at me. the people. The amount don't of people. be alarmed with, alarmed with the amount of people. So I was like, okay. I didn't right. think anything of it. I, I, didn't, I was like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. but, then, but then six to seven, eight doctors, yeah. nurses, entered the room and they were very calm but they were definitely treating it with urgency so like a calm low, urgency low and intense yeah. yes mm -hmm. and so i at that point i looked at sean and gave him the look of you need to figure out what's going on because something is not right and they're not they're not being completely transparent about what was happening Mm -hmm. But they, so, but they were when we asked, right? So like, I, yeah, so, I think that so was it was intentional. You. It was intentional, but yeah, I, I made eye contact with Shelly, and I just asked the doctor mm -hmm. or one of the nurses flat out, say, "Hey, what's going on?" And that's when she said verbatim, "Yeah, we're noticing that, uh, you know, when you have a contraction, um, the, the baby's heart rate drops, but it's only during contractions. So we're trying to figure out if it's." Like the monitor itself is working. They were just trying to rule out yeah, all so the things that, that it could point, be. They had me um, change my position because when I was on my side, it impacted how his heart rate was dropping versus me being on my back. So I was from one side to the other side to to let's let's put you on your back. And then the last position was, let's put you on all four. So I was on my hands and my knees, mm -hmm. butt in the air. <laughs> and then I think it got a little better, right? And that's when the doctor came back in and checked me um, internally. Yeah. So by that point, they you that had laid point, back, laid back down. She was back on her on her back, mm -hmm. and they came in to do a physical uh, a physical examination. And so the, the doctor went in and then she said, oh, mm -hmm. you're 10 centimeters dilated. So that went from being six centimeters at like 430 to 10 centimeters at like 450. Yeah. But I would say in the midst of, again, getting that stimulant, that oral yes. stimulant to when it was time to deliver the baby. Yes was maybe like an hour and a half like Agreed. it wasn't it wasn't a lot of time at all she went from not having contractions at all to having contractions and, and, fully and being fully dilated within about an hour and a half um so yeah at that point they they start getting things ready you know shelly's legs are you know getting positioned and they're getting their station set to receive the baby mm -hmm. and uh it happened, it was going so fast that the doctor actually had to tell one of the nurses to slow down because the, the one nurse was telling you to push. Mm -hmm. And the, the doctor said, not yet, because she just wasn't, you know, she wasn't ready to receive the baby. But I would say with three pushes over the course of 35, 40 seconds, I, August was here. It was push one, I saw the head, push two, you know, kind of his torso was out. And then push three, he was in the world. Literally, I pushed for a minute. Yeah, it was like a minute. A minute? It was like a minute. A Maybe minute. a minute and some change. Yeah. Um, and, and boom, he was here. Three. Three and, pushes. And <laughs> when the doctor took him out, very calmly, she said, oh, here's the culprit. And his umbilical cord was around his neck. 
Um, so again, not not to the extent of when he, when there weren't contractions, it was causing him any duress or anything like that. But mm-hmm. when he came out, they saw that's what the uh, that's what the issue was. Um, so, so essentially, every contraction was pulling the cord. Tighter. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was constricting the cord. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after that, they they took the they took the cord from around him and cleared out his nose, and he started crying and. Mm-hmm. Uh, well. and and all was well and so um yeah it was you know we were from from arriving at the hospital to uh, delivery was about seven hours and really active labor was only about two to three of that um but after that he was he was here he was here and then ish got real and it's been real ever since but yeah it's 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 been great um you know, it's always an adventure. Like if we have to go to a doctor's appointment, so like putting him in a car seat and, you know, taking him out into the world. Uh, those Leaving things the are, house is, is an adventure. Yeah, you need, you need a good 10 to 15 minutes. I'm, to, I'm thankful that we don't have to leave the house yeah. often. Yeah, we don't, we don't have to leave the house because outside is closed. Thank um, you. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that been an adventure uh, these last couple of weeks. And we've only had to leave the house you know, twice for doctor's appointments. And there's one or two times where we just wanted to take a drive mm-hmm. to, to change the scenery. And so we put him in the car mm-hmm. uh, for, for that as well. But, you know, he's he's been good. He's yes. been great. He's perfect. Yeah, he's, he's pretty awesome. That's yeah. perfect little face. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that's it, folks. Thank you for listening. Um, we'll check you out next time. Any last words? Subscribe. We said it in the beginning, but if you skipped the introduction, you got caught. So subscribe, click the link below to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Um, tell a friend. Tell a friend. To tell a friend. Yeah, because there, there's going to be more August content soon. So mm-hmm. you'll be excited to, to see that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us and we will catch you next time. Peace.